saw Sola come out, but that was on Veil, so obviously yeah. it's not going to be used for anything not else. Not going to happen. Here's to see how serious he's going to perform. Oh, it seems like we're going to go straight into the map. And I was just going to say that for the first, like, four months of the Team Sirius, the Sirius was winning every single tournament, almost alone. So we're going to see if we're going to have that same kind of performance here at LAN or not. And if not, the DBE does have a good chance of taking uh, it all the way. Surely it's is serious on or off kind of question, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to get into our series very shortly between Cheaters and Dragonborn Esports. In still out, mate. Bon voyage. We'll let, we'll let you go and have your little 30-minute break. break or 20, depending <laughs> on the circumstances of the series. And Zoot, first time I'm going to cast with you in five years, and I'm okay. sure it's going to be absolutely fabulous as we're going to kick things off from Kelps' perspective to see what shenanigans he's going to be up to from the very get-go. Yep. Peaceful first moment on the map. Now if they get their starting weapons going, there's the mega health area. <laughs> A lot of damage after them, and immediately Sirius and Kels just eliminate them. Kels off with the rail for a second, but uh, yeah, he's going to look for a bit of a start. He's got the mega health in a moment. Is he vulnerable to this? He is. RV gets a brilliant angle to finish him before the mega spawn. Supposedly, Rafa's on both teams, and he's playing both of them. So that's uh, <laughs> that's interesting in itself. But don't worry, guys. At home. We'll, at changed for you very shortly, but still with a one frag lead, making that two, as he's just doing absolute work with that heavy machine yeah, gun. And a lot of people have been yeah, saying they've been this. benefiting more with the LG and the heavy machine gun, considering depending on which map they've been playing on. There's a slight lower stack in favour of Cheetahs, but they're buying the time now. They've got the heavy, so that's going to completely change. Quad will be up in the next 20 seconds. Let's see how both these teams prep for it. Yeah, they're very much keeping their own sides of the map at this point. I think they want to keep their stack as much as they can. Uh, certainly Sirius is going to want it with the uh, one suit. Yeah, he's used it and he's just set it on the comms himself. That's not what he wants to do, but to two brilliant rockets. He should be able to hold on to the quad now. Worked out very nicely for Sirius despite that issue. It certainly did. I wasn't going to confirm the outcome of what was going to occur due That's to the fact that with the Nyx, he had the potential of stealing it, but he used the uh, ability so early that we knew he was planning to get down for it. Even though Sirius is just running around, just running and gunning at the stage with the quad, at the level of a huge, make that 12. Need to start things off, make that 13, and there seems to be absolutely no stopping them at the moment. As we've got the heavy coming up in the next couple of seconds. Mega will be up shortly, which is quite good for cheaters due to the fact that with the timings being so heavily segregated, they will have time to contest both of those items. Drowns playing that. Lot of damage there. RMB pushing through straight away. For a stack as he managed to keep himself left there. Oh, not too late. He's gone down already. Drowns is going to clean up quite nicely from this. Carries first. Well, they are got a decent amount of frags behind at this point, so there's some catching up to do. I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear up their comms as well. I want to make it. One nest. Now it's now just going to TP up, see if we can get being greeted. I am dead here. On one of his opponents, but it looks like Sirius will be getting cleaned up more by RMB. And this is what we were talking about before. Their pure aggression and trying to dictate the pace and create the tempo they desire. And they've been doing that a little bit later on in this series. We will destroy sort of remember, this is Cheetah's map pick, as RMV did say them are serious, but actually they traded each other out. RMV now just trying to contest that heavy little bit, so we've been taken six seconds ago. Mega is now available, as they're now trying to at least find each other around top mid to try and clean up. Kelps managed to finish the job. And now up 19 to 14, but protection is going to be up any second now. Dramas is already in position. So is RMV, but this looks like it could be a guarantee for protection. They're just trying to steal it, and it looks like Kelps have been cleaned up and using the beacon now to finish up on Sirius. Fantastic way to get that protection, but fair play to Kelps for trying to at least rocket jump up to try and steal it, but it looks like it wasn't going to be, but definitely worth the risk. <laughs> They're closing up a little bit. Has he got enough stack to really engage into it? That LG, he's got to be so careful with that. He just does not have the weapon really to fully take advantage. One rocket left. Does get some damage. Okay, that works out for him right at the end. And we've got plenty of time left to, uh, to make a comeback. 
does indeed. They were up like what, 13 to five sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Ridiculous. It was like absolute madness for them. Imagine this back. Great rockets coming up from R and V. It looks like Jamis will be able to try and. Get Who's the broom out and clean up, but he managed to do so a little bit later than required, but at least he managed to get it for two for one, which is the important thing. But yeah, they've now closed it up, now they've got one frag in between the two. Heavy is available, has been picked up, seems to going to back away straight away. I'd love to see Dramas out there. If we're able to, to watch Dramas, he's going to play brilliantly at the moment. He's going to kill after kill. And is it going to be setting up for 40 seconds now still? They're before we start saving their abilities soon to get over to the power up, Dramas now finally very weak, but he's got, as you can see, how many weapons that he's got. Can he hold on to his life a bit longer? The rush in from Sirius at the end. So Dramas now has to restart, get those weapons with only 20 seconds remaining. He's going to be under pressure to be prepared. He needs to support RMB just there. Unfortunately, he could not get any damage out. This is good for Kevin, so find it so that with the Mega coming up, it gives him 15 seconds just to hold this setup to get ready for the next squad. And Kevin is still doing a lot of work. Sirius has come in and said hello to do additional damage. Good rail coming up from Kels. So this should be a guaranteed quad now. For Jesus low. to extend He's their low. lead. No heavy. Oh, sorry, no Mega health this spawn just yet. There's the heavy over the other side, which uh, the others are going to be able to take. Both players on Jesus are very weak. They still manage to get kills. It just makes it difficult to get that confidence to really push in. Dramas spinning it away with his life. Just that knows he's going he's to be careful to not give up that angle. And he just gets through the teleporter in time. That was, I was, that was pretty great for Kelts to still go through just then. I kind of felt like Kelts was... Give, was actually taking more damage than he was actually giving during yeah. that quad phase. But he didn't want to give away the quad, so it was really important for him to not to make a mistake with that respect and give it away. So from that sense, he didn't do too badly. But we can see already Dramas and RMB is are bringing it back in. We are one frag differential on XR. That does make perfect sense. It's now Cheaters with that two frag lead. Approaching that six and a half minute mark. Serious. Tried to push in earlier, but it was cleaned up by RMV. Dramas gets a good one for Kilton as well. Tie things up. And the heavy's going up any second now, but look how heavily segregated these items now. Almost the pinnacle you could. I'm this RMV. is going to be perfect for DBE. How RMV get those kills out? He was surviving on 10 health. He's still super low. Finally goes down. Dramas got to be careful to go two, one versus two here. It's a bit too much. You want to preserve the stack as much as you can moving into power. He, he loses it. He got so little value from that. He was fully loaded and nothing came of it. And now you've got 20 seconds to set yourself up. And I, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get back to that level. We've got Kelsey and to get full armor and the mega health. Try to and the Dramas goes down again. This is going to be the Cheetahs probably setting up much more effectively for power up. They probably didn't mind too much because of the stack they had going to the power up at the same time. They're not going to have the weapon we required, but RMV managed to get two as Kelsey's trying to dive on this to try and steal it again, but that's not going to happen. It's protection. I, I couldn't have been more wrong. To I couldn't have been more wrong, but I don't know where Kelts could have been to at that point. There was seriousness on his own. Yeah, the coordination wasn't there, sadly. But it's like they're going to take full advantage of this. As it seems to be neck and neck, it's very difficult to kind of sway who's going to be able to take this first map so far. The RMV now is using the remainder of the protection, but it looks like Sirius will be able to take him down. But those rockets top mid is RMV now just going to be right on forward of that heavy machine gun, trying to get as much damage as he can. It's a fair amount before being cleaned up by Sirius. Well, you got to remember it's cheating with that two frag lead. Quad's going to be up in a minute ten. Mega's going to be up shortly. And Kelts has just basically put him in his place and a nice clean double coming up from him, finishing off all the work and damage that Sirius did previously. But the question's going to be how much Dragon Ball is what's going to come back from this, but the two LGs coming out from the likes of DBE and still Kelts just doing oh, no. another double, but. <laughs> Sinke would once again... He's smiling about that, at least. I don't blame him. <laughs> I would smile, probably cry. Actually, you have to. Him. Oh, Kelts goes down again, and from hero to zero for, for just a short second. DB got a bit of a chance to catch up a little. And Kelts, bring it back, manages to get the mega health. We are finding a sort of bit of a couple of solo pickoffs over here. This time does get the jump successfully. Serious over from the other 
side. And double kills. He's just railing from the top. And Kels, if you ever lost any semblance of confidence for a moment from falling down, it's, it doesn't mean anything anymore. He's absolutely on fire. Well up in a second. Good push. That's exactly what we needed to see from DBE. But again, where was Sirius at that point? I don't really know where he... Just, there seems to be some kind of like desync a little bit with the, the Cheetahs players. Yeah, their coordination seems to be a bit inconsistent at the pinnacle moments when they're trying to go for this power. Well, maybe they have their plan of action, but just couldn't time it right. It's uh, quite debatable. But they did have a quite a marginal lead at one stage, about eight francs, but now they it down to four. This jump is still trying to get what he can out of that quad, but wasn't able to finish up on Celts. But Sirius is able to make sure to have the potential to trade out if he needed to and was able to. I think Drama said didn't need to go for that kill. He was being a little bit over aggressive when uh, you just need to preserve it. There's five more kills left for Cheetahs, four more for Cheetahs to get the map win. Every single kill is of such high value, and Sirius just threw the TP, absolutely destroying him. Oh, God. Mega health in a moment. And I don't even know if we're going to get to the uh, next power up because there's two more kills. We've got high ground position for Cheetahs. Tries to get himself out of there. Dramas manages to get one kill. We've got Sirius on the Knicks, who's just used his ability. Well, both so weak. RB goes down. Only one more needed, and that's going to be Sirius finishing the job off with the shotgun. 50 to 41. He and Cheetahs did manage to take that first map, and it was their map choice. And now we're going to head into deep and base to see how they're going to comprehend and Gavin F. Falk's going to this next matchup, but we'll see what DBE can do a little bit differently, but this will definitely suit their style coming into this matchup. We're going to kick things off from RMB's perspective of the slash stroke, and that she's going to be a complete move matchup. He's already trying to back away, left on 59 HP. I'm just up for the middle area. I was seeing that aggression early on. He was immediate, immediately used his ability, wants to get stuck in. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the job done. I, I wonder why he didn't push in directly, because he would have been going up versus someone who had a railgun. I felt like maybe maybe he could have pushed in even harder just then. But only one kill on the board, 30 seconds in. Sort of tentatively sort of poking at each other. RMB, nice little dodge there. Now RMB just going to get that top of control, just keep him at bay around that rocket area. Still... But managed to get the light just to give himself a little bit of leeway. But he's doing so much work with the heavy machine wow. gun. And we were discussing with the meta with how many... with everyone discussing about the heavy machine gun and the LG and how... Um, beneficial it can be to your, to your weaponry in your arsenal, and uh, he just made a good example of that. Nice rail work, and again on Sirius. Getting himself a small lead, but Dramas is on two points of health at the moment. Oh, he got knocked down. I, I think he got the kill at the same time. It did seem that way, yeah, it seemed like the trade did come out. This is looking very good for DB, and an early lead, but. Okay, see if they can be able back. to maintain it. Quad's going to be up any second now, of course, along with the protection. So who will be able to get it? It looks like if they do manage to get it, as DBE managed to try and get it, but Kiltz has actually come from behind and stole it. They're going to get the other one as well. Both out. And now that he's... Stack is an understatement, but the heavy's going to be up in 10 seconds. But as you know, with the protection along with the quad, he has absolutely no need. He can go for the mega, switch to the heavy straight afterwards. And he's just on the hunt here, so he's on the chase, managed to get jammers, can't find RMV. But the main thing is, he's keeping control of the items as well as both power-ups. I mean, he's just so fast getting around the map. It's impossible to get away from him, especially on a map like this. Push, 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 push. Let Dramas do the job on himself. Done. And his protection's about to go, so he'll be vulnerable. But still so much impact from that run. Very, very nice play from Kels. Yep, DBE were up 5-3, to three, but then down 5-9, to nine, so... Couldn't make any progress to try and make a stop to those pouches is understandable, especially the slash with a ridiculous stack and that quad and protection. RMV whips out the double though, which is uh, a good way to kind of keep the game as competitive as possible. He can RMV managed to get another. Yeah, he's, he's kept a lot of stack doing all of that as well. Sirius finally manages to take him down, but RMV is having huge impact at the moment. Good work from Kels, takes down that bit of pressure. 
Oh my god, that's absolute chaos just then. Uh, RMV just dealing with pure insanity. Again, going one versus two, it's amazing how much uh, uh, damage he's output he's getting, uh, despite being under that amount of pressure. The bloke just has no fear, and he's been showing it for the entirety of this, of this map. But RMV is now getting literally closed in between wow. the two, but still managed to take down Sirius and did a bit of damage to the Kels earlier. And as you can wow. see, Jonas was able to take him down with his Pika and then rail Sirius straight afterwards. And you can't lie that this is definitely a map that Dragonborn Esports can excel on. I mean, it's just a of watching RMV. I, mean, I have very little sort of exposure to this this player and this sort of new gen, but he is, he's awesome to watch at the moment. Loving his rounds, loving his quick movement, and just watching him be that virtuoso of the mechanics. Kelts, though, he's back on the power-ups. He's been getting all of them at the moment. Let's see if we can move over to him. He's managed to get himself the double power-up. And all that work that RMV did, can he get away? He is legging it. He's trying to make it around the corners, <laughs> slipping and sliding, and he, he somehow got away. Drummus, he Drummus can't, but he's on uh, strong, so you can forgive him for that. But RMV <laughs> playing hide and seek, literally getting away with murder, and then he That's quite rightly like did and deserved it as well with the yeah, <laughs> to try and get away. It was weird because he wasn't actually being that unorthodox with where with the routes he was taking. He was being quite predictable. Just, but it's just always around the corner, always around exactly. the corner. I can't see the guy. I've just got a hit scan. But please. you know what it's like at this level? You just assume, you, you do tend at this high level to kind of overestimate what they're going to do. You think, yeah. oh, they're going to double back at some point. It's going to move out at some point. And they don't expect you to wow. have that kind of predictable movement to try and get away from the power. But fair play to him as now cheaters up by three frags. Counts tremendously. We're surely going down in a second, but they're going to be trying to rail him as they might not know exactly how low he is. Uh, it feels like for DBE, it has just been the RMV show. Drama's just trying to get himself on a sort of bit of kudos on the board. And for RMV, as you can see from the side, he's the one that's really stacked and again having that impact. So hopefully we'll get to watch him for a moment. <laughs> So a bit of help there from Dramis um, with his ability. The stack's not too bad. It doesn't need a health bubble, ideally. That real nasty work. And he still get the kill, not quite. Goes for the flick, but we've got the quad uh, spawning in just a second. Who's going to be ready for it? RMB's on point with Dramis. They managed to get the kill. There's a small exchange over here, but again, Kelts gets himself on that power-up. It's quite incredible how RMV plays. The way that, with, with how aggressive he is in terms of his style, when he actually faces you in a duel around the map, you kind of think to yourself, have I actually done any damage to him? Or has my teammate <laughs> done any damage to him? Because he's acting as though he's got like a 150, 150 stack. Or yeah, unheard of. But yeah, he's, he's just continuing with the grind on that one. He's so confident with it. This time he's not able to get away the same as before. So it's a big chance for cheaters to get into the game properly, cement a lead with something that they can at least defend or, or run from a little bit more. I no. think it's quite worrying with the power-up control cheaters have had throughout the whole of Deep Embrace and still only up by five frags. It's, if that was me, I would be a little up. bit... They, almost. They, they started with every power-up, didn't they? I'm not sure yeah. if uh, DBE... They, DBE certainly haven't started with a power-up. I, think, I they think they picked up a quad at one point, but then Kelts came in with a shoddy and just yeah. got a double. So yeah. I think they may have had it for like a couple of seconds. Uh, yeah, and, and you're absolutely right. It's crazy that it's not a larger frag differential, given what's happened. Dramas has gone for the self-kill somewhere. Presumably Rocket or one of the many boys in the map. And now it's RMV. I mean, I'd say he has been the carry for DB on this map. Is he able to push a little bit further, bring themselves back in? Because now this is the biggest lead that they would have to recover. I think the key, f the, the key phrase for RMV is how proactive he's been. He's been probably the most proactive yeah. out of any player on the map so far. And this is what's going to help them keep a minute if they can. There's still a nine frame difference between the two. But just, you know, one power for it, maybe just a couple, can easily not only bring them back, but potentially take the lead. Is now Dramis is going to be holding that top mid angle, gets a good amount of damage with that rail, hits the second. Nice. Great stuff from Dramis. Protection. As we're going to try and find out how we're going to approach this quad. But Dramis is still doing the work, but will RMV be, be able to get the quad? Will he be able to sneak in? Dramis! Oh my goodness, he's going to get away, oh. but no, Kelts has picked up the quad. Dramis had to clutch a rail just there. That's all he really needed. And Kelts again, double power-ups, oh. double kills. 
and he's fully stacked at the moment. He's with Slash, he's just gonna be able to run through the map. RMV always seems to get taken down by Sirius. He's able to run away from Kelt somehow, but he just keeps falling into Sirius's hands. Dramas managing to get a, a kill to help a little bit, and, and surprisingly, Kelt's not been able to lock down many of them. Finds Dramas sitting around, but that's it. We should have made it the final nail in the coffin, but yeah, we'll I'd find out surely. Dramas is going to be kicking himself for not hitting one of those rails. Uh, he just had to land that on the top. But the last, I'll be honest with you, for the last few power-ups, the DBE have actually been prepared for it, but it's Re just the unorthodox so. routes they've t uh, taken from cheaters, which have actually been able to establish themselves or a way to be able to still do that. Right. need to deal with Kelts at the moment. RMV, can he pick off that kill? He manages to get away at least. Finally, they've killed Cal, so at least to stop that kind of momentum that he's been having. We have got the heavy spawning in a moment, but now you've got Sirius to deal with. Life doesn't get any easier for you. Yeah, not so when you want to have a name duel with, is it? So it's, it's understandable why they were trying to at least back away, of course, with the weak stack alongside with it. But it looks like it could potentially be a 2 0 series here, now up by 12 frags. And cheaters are now able to establish. Well, they've maintained the lead for quite a while, but they've extended it with the last few power ups. Uh, and it does come down to just sort of those key moments, doesn't it? Mm. It's not like it's not like DB even playing bad the whole map to be having this, but it's just. Firstly, they've been off every power up. They've been challenging very, very well, but it's one missed shot there, one missed shot there. And that suddenly transforms into a tremendous amount of kills. And then finally, they've managed to get themselves onto the quad. Are they able to get over? RMV does get that kill. That's just on him, so I think he's going to have a double power up. And with Slash, he's got that mobility. Can he make good use of it? This is the time to get back into the map. It's about time to get power up, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He managed to grab one in the air, which is going to make more two now, so to speak. But as you can see, they managed to close the gap, but is it too little, too late? This is going to be the next question here, as he's still going to do a little bit of work. Quad's actually going to be running out soon, but he's still got a fair amount of protection to at least tank any damage he requires to really start some of his engagements. He's now brought it back. Four frag difference here, Zoom. Big, big swing. Huge swing. They really, really needed that. They actually have a chance to bring the map into their favour if they can hold on to these stacks and continue playing together tightly. This could really work for them. Whoa. We've got a one-for-one one exchange there because Sirius the got the kill on Dramas, but RMB still looking pretty good. He's got the mega health. He needs to get up there and support his teammate as quickly as he can. Oh. He's not damaged Whoa. by both of them are just holding their ground and also Cows. took out Dramas in the process. Only one more frag remains here for Cheaters. As you can see, they're not getting over Zealous. They're not going to try and give away any easy frags. They're just being oh well God. aware of the situation, well aware of the info they've been provided. But Kels is going to be the one who's going to take him down. But you've got to think about it, though. They had that one power, but they managed to almost tie it. It was only like a four frag difference in between them. But imagine if it was the opposite way around. They would have been yeah. staked. Exactly. That's, that's really the question to ask, Siri, uh, to ask cheaters after the end.